Hello. Welcome from Philadelphia, home of a, a 2008 World Series champion, Philadelphia Phillips. I'm Rob Nienhaber, sales executive here for Thompson Mahogany in our mahogany shed. Behind me, you see some African mahogany. What I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, three different species, African mahogany, sapele, and eulalie. I would like to introduce my colleague, Will, which you will hear his voice, not see his face, Paul. Hey, thanks, Rob. All right, no um, so Rob, first question. Why are we comparing African mahogany, sapele, and uteal? Utile? Utile. Uh, well, they're, uh, yeah, he likes to say uteal. An an another, another name for uh, utile is sepa. Uh, but these three woods are all African redwoods. Uh, they are hand-in-hand -hand used as substitutes for mahogany. Uh, African mahogany, obviously, is cold. African mahogany, some people call sapele sapele mahogany, and utile utile mahogany. Uh, they're all used for similar similar uh, instances or usages uh, as far as uh, exterior millwork, uh, furniture, architectural millwork, etc. Uh, the uh, main difference in the three that I see is, is sapele is more diverse. It is the heaviest of the three woods, Paul. Uh, it weighs probably about four pounds a foot. It's more dense than the other two. The other two weigh around three pounds, 3.2 pounds a foot. Um, Spiele you can use for flooring. And it's actually become very popular in the last six, seven years for flooring. As far as utility in African, it's too soft. And it just does not make a good floor. Uh, a woman with a heel or whatever is going to dig right into the wood. With um, Spiele, the heel of the the heels of the high heels is probably going to break before the floor is going to down. Um, so that is one one of the differences as far as uh, the durability and the, and the hardness. Um, how does the availability compare for each? Uh, the least available is you. Uh, it's it's considered of the three to be the best of the th best wood, and that is basically because of appearance and the way that it mills. It looks probably the most like South American mahogany, uh, but there's not a lot of it. Uh, the next it would be uh, least available would be the African mahogany and then the sapele. There's a lot of sapele in the woods. Uh, right now, um, looking ahead into the year 2015, uh, as far as purchasing, what our suppliers are telling us at no level is that uh, sapele is going to be available and African mahogany is going to be harder to get. Okay, cool. Um, what about the colors? How do the colors compare? Uh, the Utile and African Mahogany are similar in color. They, they, as I mentioned before, they're all considered redwoods. Uh, the Sapele almost has like an orange look to it. It's, it's not really... You can tell the Sapele apart from the other two a lot easier. Uh, the coloring of the African Mahogany and the Utile are similar to the genuine mahogany, it's kind of a reddish brown, whereas the sapele is uh, more of an orangey brown. What about the grains of each wood? Uh, they're, they're, all three of the woods are typically sorted all for flat sawn and quarter sawn. And it's kind of unique, at least I think it is, is that the African mahogany, the, the most popular cut is the flat cut. Uh, and there's a couple reasons for that. It's uh, The flat cut looks a lot more like South American mahogany than the quarter cut. And the quarter cut in African mahogany, uh, which is also known as ribbon, is kind of like a broken ribbon. And there's a lot of interlocking grain, so it makes it more difficult to, to surface it. So the most popular in African is, is the flat saw. In Sapele, the most popular is the opposite. It's the quarter saw. Uh, it's, it's a much straighter ribbon stripe, and, uh, and it mills a lot easier than the African ribbon stripe. Uh, now, in, in both these woods, and in, in Utile, uh, there's more quarter sawn or ribbon available. Uh, so, in the African, it, it kind of causes a little bit of a conflict because you end up with more ribbon, and you can sell more flat cut. In the Sapele, fortunately, you know, we're able to get more ribbon, and that's what people want. Uh, the Utile, what we're finding is that uh, you know people making furniture like the flat song because it looks like the South American mahogany. People making the, the uh, uh, millwork or exterior millwork, they're 
they like the uh, quarter song because it's more stable. And, uh, so there's really not a preference as much on the new as the other. Thing. Okay, great. Um, all right, well, thanks, Rob, for giving us all that info comparing the three. Okay. Um, and if anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to ask below, and don't forget to subscribe. Sounds good.